Hi everyone, so in this video you will learn how you can download an image on button click using JavaScript. So let's get started. We are going to use a library filesaver.js. So we just need this method. Save as the URL of the image and the name of the image. That's it. So first of all we need this file filesaver.min.js as you can see as of now the latest version is 2.0.3 but it contains some bugs so I will not recommend to download this one go to this releases section and you can see there is a previous version 2.0.2 .2. so just download this source code okay there you will find a file filesaver.min.js simply create a js directory and copy that file that's all what you have to do now let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link to a style sheet. So we need to add a script file here, which is filesaver.min.js. Also we need to add our own script file, which is script.js. Now we need one div element here and one image. Delete this part. I already got one image let me paste the URL here so this is the image now we need one button so text will be download for this save it go to style sheet select div element display will be flex flex direction will be column align items will be center select the image so the image is quite large so we'll resize it so height and width will be 400 pixels select the button element display will be block padding will be 10 pixels and margin top will be 10 pixels save it now open this file in the browser and this is the output. Now let's work on the script file. Select the button. So it will be BTN download. Select the image because we need the image source. Add the event listener to the button. So event will be click this will be the handler function so first of all we need the image path so there is a method get attribute and we'll get the source attribute this will give us this path okay we also need the file name this one dot jpg so Let's create a variable here and I will create one function get file name and I'll pass the image path. Let's create that function here. So it will be get file name. Here I will make use of substring method and we need the index of this character s. There's a method last index of so we'll get the index of this thing, this slash. Then we'll simply add one to it. That's it. Now here we'll use save as method. So first we need the image path, which you want to download, and the file name. Save it, go to browser. Now we will click on this download button. The download will start and that's our image let's open it and here you go so that's all what you need the image location the file name and the save as method and make sure this domain the image domain should allow cross origin request so this domain does allow cross origin request so it's working absolutely fine 
a domain which does not allow it will not work okay i hope you got the point it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day